Welcome to my mayor's message for November 2021. I'm Mayor Ron Jensen. My goodness, this year has just flown by, and it's crazy to think we are getting ready to celebrate the holidays again. A year ago, I was asking you to please not attend large gatherings and to celebrate Thanksgiving outdoors, or at least with the windows open, and if possible, to stay home and celebrate only with your immediate family to help lower the COVID-19 cases. I'm thankful things are much different this year, thanks in part to our mask wearing efforts and, of course, the vaccines. I have a lot to be thankful for this year, and like most of you, I look forward to celebrating with my family. Speaking of Thanksgiving, the Grand Prairie Parks, Arts, and Recreation Department is hosting a drive through turkey giveaway on Saturday, November 20th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Charlie Taylor Rec Center. One turkey per vehicle, for more information, call 972-339-3770. Thanksgiving Day kicks off the opening of Prairie Lights, the city's premier holiday display. Be the first to see the new 2021 displays as you run, jog, walk, or stroll through the lighted park during the 5K sneak a peek the weekend of November 20th and 21st. November 20th will be dedicated for runners, joggers, and fast walkers. November 21st is set aside for those who want to walk and stroll through the lights much slower. Early registration is preferred, but on-site registration will be accepted. For more information, visit prairielights.org. My final Get Fit Cycling with the Mayor Bike Ride of the Year is taking place on Monday, November 22nd at 6 p.m. You'll get to enjoy the displays before the park opens to the public on Thanksgiving Day. Don't forget to decorate your bike. Gates will open at Lynn Creek Park at 4.45 p.m. and the ride begins at 6. Now folks, you have to be on a bicycle. We're not allowing strollers, walkers, runners during this time. Those nights are already past, so you have to be on a bicycle to ride with me that night. Get more details at gptx.org forward slash getfitgp. Let's talk about apartments a little bit. It's a hot topic now. Why are we getting so many apartments? It's supply and demand, folks. There's a huge demand for housing anywhere in North Texas. Why? Because North Texas and Texas as a whole, and especially the North Texas region, is a favorable place to live. People are moving here. So why all the apartments? There's a lot of zoning already in the city and in cities around us that are zoned multifamily. We have developers calling, looking for land already zoned multifamily because once the land is zoned multifamily, the landowner has the right to develop it as multifamily. If we try to down zone it, change the zoning, it's, re, it calls, it's called a taking. They'll take us to court. There's history of that. So we know we can't down zone it. So what decisions are made about zoning versus site plans? If it's a zoning case, say for instance, somebody wants to change the zoning from one setting to another designation, we have to ask ourselves this question. The council answers a question. Do we want that new zoning versus the old zoning? Simple question. Do we want or do we not want it? If the zoning is already in place, we don't get to choose that. We're asked to look at the site plan and our answer to the questions are different. Our question is, does it meet the ordinance and the law? Does it meet our construction requirements? It's simple yes or no answers, not whether we want them there or not. Does it meet the laws? I appreciate everybody's interest and concern about all the development that's going on, but dirt has rights. We can't slow it down. The city is beginning a process to redistrict all six city council districts. Districts are intended to reflect equalized populations and demographics. Therefore, their sizes and shapes must be redefined every 10 years to reflect the population growth or decline. The public is invited to attend public hearings and work sessions on November 4th, December 9th, and December 15th at City Hall. Learn more at our website, gptx.org. On Thursday, October 21st, we broke ground on the 172-acre park known as Epic Central, located at State Highway 161 and Arkansas Lane. The city is building two connecting hotels with a shared conference center, six restaurant spaces, 
parking garage, and creating a water and light show on the lakes as well as interactive technology experiences on the land. Take a look at this video. Grand Prairie is bringing hotels, a convention center, and restaurants to Epic Central, the city's signature world-class park. The city is building two connecting hotels with a convention center. The Hilton Garden Inn will offer 129 luxury rooms. The Homewood Suites will open with 147 studio, one and two bedroom suites. The convention center includes a 10,000 square foot ballroom and seating for 1,000. They should open in 2023. The city is also constructing six restaurant sites opening in late 2022. They include an American modern neighborhood space, Vidora Casina de Mexico, Sirius Eats with Sirius Pizza, Sliders and Shakes, a breakfast lunch concept called Poached, and Loop 9 Barbecue, the newest venture by Larry Levine, founder of Chili's. And the city is designing a water and light show on the five lakes, along with interactive technology on the land at the park. One, two, three, sign it! On Thursday, officials kicked things off with a non-traditional groundbreaking, signing a steel beam that will be used during construction. Now it's our time. We can compete with anybody. We have competed with everybody. So I'm excited about what this means for our city, but more importantly, just the people that have grown up here. Even those that I graduated with that have moved away, that have sent me messages of how proud they are of what the city of Grand Prairie has become. We went to our citizens a few months ago with a $75 million bond project to help us as an equity partner in this project fund this. And they approved that, overwhelmingly approved it, 67 million of that 75 million will go right into this project. So citizens of Grand Prairie, thank you for your trust and confidence in your elected officials and your city staff. You're going to you're going to be so proud of what we're going going to build for you. Two other retail venues are already underway at Epic Central. Chicken and Pickle opens in late 2021, featuring indoor and outdoor pickleball courts, a restaurant and bar. And Boulder Adventure opens summer of 2022, offering rock climbing, zip lines, adventure nets, and more. The 172-acre park is already home to Epic Waters Indoor Water Park, the Summit Active Adult Center, the Epic Arts, Fitness, and Entertainment Center, Play Grand Adventures All-Inclusive Playground, the Prairie Paws Adoption Center, Central Bark Dog Park, and the Public Safety Building. Officials say it adds up to a one-of-a-kind dining and entertainment experience that emphasizes Grand Prairie's family, friendly, fun culture. For more details about Epic Central, visit the city's website at gptx.org. Lastly, I want to end this message on a very positive note. This past month, Wallet Hub compared more than 180 cities across 44 key indicators of safety and ranked Grand Prairie as the fourth safest city in Texas and second in DFW. Just another reason to love Grand Prairie. Enjoy this time with your family and I will see you next month. Y'all be kind, stay safe, stay masked where you feel appropriate, wash your hands, and socially distance.